Hi, this is Renan Joran, and I keep going with this series about the new product introduction process. Here I'm covering the time spent in planning before starting prototyping work. So I have a lot of clients come to us and they say, here's our product design idea. Maybe a sketch, maybe a very crude prototype. Please build a prototype ASAP. Well, what we found is this is really a recipe for a lot of trial and error and sometimes going back and wasting a lot of time. So, first, product testing. What will be required for compliance and for reliability also of the product in the field? We need to know this from the very beginning. We've had some cases where the client had not thought of that and it was not clarified at the beginning and then a lot of time was spent on doing design work, on making prototypes, and then realizing that it would not be compliant. It means going back to square one. That's a massive waste of time. So this is really something that needs to be clarified from the very beginning. Um, a lot of things need to be started from the beginning. Okay. Here's an overall idea of the, the process, really, of all this, this planning. So first, what is the design intent? What does the designer want to achieve with the product? How is it supposed to be used in what circumstances with what objectives and so on? Okay, then if some design was already done by um, the, the, the inventor, let's say, uh, there's a review, we can often find some potential issues. Then really, what is possible in China? Sometimes a design is really not um, that does not call for China manufacturing. Okay, is this really something that is a good fit for China, or maybe it's better done somewhere else? Cost and compliance needs to be thought of from the beginning. Um, if it looks like the cost of the widget is going to be ten dollars, but it's supposed to be sold on the market for eight dollars, there's a big problem. Okay, think of the options. Propose some options. Once things are a little bit clearer, go into the details of the design, then work on the entire design and start work on the first prototype. This is not a, um, a process that is applicable every, everywhere all the time, but this gives you an idea of a good process that's applicable to a lot of um, electronic and all mechanical products. So, if we think of a checklist for this initial planning before prototyping, what would it be? First, as I say, design intent has to be very clear. Everybody needs to grasp what it is. Okay, If a product is supposed to be used outdoor, but this is not documented anywhere, um, maybe the project manager knows about it, but then the purchaser doesn't know about it, and then the supplier is not going to know about it, and they're going to use materials that are the wrong materials. This is just an example. Okay. Requirements need to be very specific. Okay, if you say the finishing has to be as good as an Apple product, this means something. But if you say very high end level of finishing, uh, it doesn't mean very much. Okay, uh, sometimes the inventor, the designer thinks of something that's really over engineered, uh, but this doesn't make sense usually for a first version especially if you are doing the development of a shoestring budget and if the timelines call for a very fast go-to-market. Okay, I already expanded on this, but we need to be realistic. What uh, kind of product design will allow you to, to uh, go to be done within your budget and within your timelines? China manufacturing, yes, no. Sometimes, again, it doesn't call for China manufacturing. It's not a good fit. So this needs to be thought about also. Verification and validation, two very important keywords here for quality management. And I'm mentioning this here because it needs to be planned from the beginning. So verification, okay, objective tests that will have to be passed by the prototype, okay. If a prototype is made but does not pass these objective tests, it does not pass the verification, it doesn't count. The prototype cannot be validated, uh, verified, sorry, and confirmed. Okay. 
Similarly, okay, when the end users play with the prototype, give their feedback, often very subjective, yeah, it feels right, uh, it operates right, I, uh, it's, it's, it's got a good feeling in the hand, these kind of things. If it passes, then it's fine, it's good. If it doesn't pass, it doesn't count. Okay, but this needs to be communicated from the beginning because, again, if the engineers don't know about this, how can they make a prototype that passes these requirements? And the last concept I want to touch on is the feasibility study. If it's a new product, there will be some challenging aspects. Okay, maybe it's a very new application of a new technology. Uh, maybe the engineering team is not familiar with that kind of applications. Okay, make do a feasibility study. Sometimes it will pass. It will, it will go through a proof of concept prototype. Sometimes maybe on CAD software, you know, pro engineer and and and, and the others do some simulations to see uh, if if it falls down is the shock like this or if there's a torsion force is it going to break easily and so on and also sometimes some further design work is needed just to see a little bit more clear more clearly into the design and, and really what will the product look like and how will it work okay it's not just technical risks if you are the company that wants to design and develop a new product, always keep in mind the market risk is what kills most startups. Okay, You might make something that works very well but that people are not ready to buy or maybe not buy for that kind of price. Uh, so it might make sense to make what they call an MVP in the Lean Startup um, approach. By the way, if you haven't read this book, um, I would advise you, you, you grab a copy. Uh, it will help you think of what, uh, what the first version of your product should be and how to discover what your key users or typical users really need and want to, to buy. Okay, So a lot of planning here uh, and poor planning will lead to a failed project. So take this very seriously. Okay, uh, that's the end of this video. I hope you like it. Don't hesitate to subscribe, leave some comment, ask some questions. Thank you.